Welcome back, Kingdom Living Community, to Riding the Storms. And if you haven't already seen the first two parts, because this is going to be part three of the series, the first one on Riding the Storms was Release of the Foreign Marriages, so make sure you catch that. And then the second one, Delighting in the Lord on the Wednesday show, Rise Up. And so Riding the Storms, the purpose of this show is to bring victory to you through biblical application so that you can go right through the trials of life and walk out the other side victorious and being like the guys in, in the book of Daniel. They're going to come out not even smelling like you were in the fire because the Lord Jesus Christ is in there with you. Amen. Amen. So <laughs> this particular one, Jesse, is it's the fast, but it's destroying sexual altars. And so I guess at this point, if folks haven't seen this yet, or they haven't done the work up to this point, mm -hmm. they should probably back up and go take care of the other two first, right? Uh, absolutely. And we do have a resource that we've been encouraging as we do this. It's uh, dangerous prayers um, from the courts of heaven that destroy evil altars by Dr. Francis Miles. And I forgive me that it's all backwards on there. But an excellent book and you know we're going to kind of be modifying um some of the prayers that he has in there uh what i'll do is you know i kind of go back as i go through those prayers and insert the things that the lord has me working on uh so there is a little bit of you know work that we do to go through this but um you know in the end we just want to be in that place where we're clean and righteous before the lord so Amen. It's worth it. <laughs> this is the Absolutely. kind of work that is worth it. Absolutely worth it. <laughs> and so while you go and get your notebooks and your Bibles and your pens and pencils and highlighters and all of that fun stuff, uh, we want to remind you now before we get started to go to kingdomlivingwithjesse.com for your tickets uh, to be there live for the recording of her next courses to be launched on kingdomlivingwithjesse.com called Rise of the Righteous. It's so <laughs> exciting. It's, it's going to be so amazing. <laughs> Tracy, um, you know, this is going to be a course that really makes that shift for you in how to live the new life that we have in Christ. And we're going to get tactical. We're going to talk about yeah. operations, like how do we put yeah. okay. this new life into practice in a very tangible way? You know, we've learned about the five-fold ministry, but what if that five-fold ministry actually matched up? with God's perfect design um, in his army. And, you know, what would that look like? So, you know, we're going to have fun with it. <laughs> you know, that was really fun the way that you even put that because the imagery that hit my mind immediately was when people go into the army, it's like everything is standard issue, right? They're like, zoop, zoop, they're buzzing your hair. Here's <laughs> right. your dorky little spectacles, you know, and everybody's exactly the same, you know, the whole idea of break somebody down, build them back up. But it's like in the Lord's army, you get to be the unique little snowflake that you are. And he's <laughs> gonna raise you up exactly how you're wired to be so mm -hmm. i was like that's really cool it's not like standard issue like the bible no. would be standard yep. issue but it's like yeah no the rest of it is not so absolutely just... <laughs> yep so the you know this is gonna the first people to come who come to that course you know in the filming of it you're gonna have that advantage of others you're going to be able to take it out right away get it in your churches get it going in your communities um the spirit of the lord is just moving so powerfully so i'm really excited about it the lord's excited about it i you know i just can't wait to share with everybody all that he's been putting into motion with this great work that he's doing and you know scripture tells us in first peter he says, you know, we didn't follow cleverly invented stories when we told you about the power and the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But we were eyewitnesses of his majesties and glories. A and what are those things? Those are the, the greater than these miracles, the great works that God is about to release um, to all of us. So it's an exciting time to be alive. 
That is going to be fun. And I'm also excited because it is the unveiling of the next amazing round of Terry's artwork will be right. this launch. So <laughs> the, the, the folks that were at the first one to record the first uh, courses on Kingdom Living, they got to see firsthand the art that God has enabled Terry to paint of Jesse's visions and experiences and memories. And he's given her that wonderful gift to be able to interpret and translate. It, and you know how difficult it is sometimes to yeah. communicate things in the spirit and then try to like make it make sense visually speaking. <laughs> right. It, I'm I'm super excited to to see everything and to be able yeah. to to get it. <laughs> I'm like I want to fill my house. Me with too. More. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so you're gonna want to get your tickets uh, again. It's March 24th to 26th in Tampa, Florida. You will get helpful emails with hotels in the area and things like that. And then as the date gets closer, then you'll receive the location details so that you'll know exactly where you're going. And so we're, we're excited. Can you tell we're excited? We, just, we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bubbling over. Oh my gosh. It's going to be so, so good. Okay. So today's today's continuation of this marvelous work of this total 40 day fast that like you put it in the in the first one this is going to be a, a sex talk like you've never had before and right. <laughs> playing with stuff and talking about the things that don't get discussed and because they don't get discussed it's like it stays a secret and there's that expression like you're only as sick as your secrets and it's like face them let it out uh, so that you can be cleansed of that you know receive your forgiveness from the lord and keep going right the longer we you know i think that's part of you know one of the biggest deceptions is that people think that if they keep it silent and hidden and don't ever reveal it that you know it just basically dies in the grave with them but that's not true like that sin continues to eat at us. Um, it also affects every relationship that we're in because with it, there's an attachment of a, you know, an evil spirit. And, um, you know, so the best thing that we can do, you know, how, how long do we want to keep that, you know, those evil spirits are kind of like leeches. They just latch on and they keep sucking <laughs> all your spiritual energy they keep you know tampering your relationship with the lord how long do you want to let that sucker hang on you know there's only one way to take care of a leech you literally got to rip that sucker off so you know that's what we're doing today um you know we're going to start with a we're going to break the show into two sessions here the first one's really going to be focused on just a time of prayer and deliverance and we're going to start just bringing up as the Lord moves. We're going to deal with those spirits connected to those sexual sins. And, and we're going to, you know, cast them out. Um, as we go through that, you know, if, if you notice that, you know, you're really struggling. Do what you need to do to confess. Just start confessing those sins. And as you confess you know, once you've done that, then rebuke it again. And so uh, we'll do that for the first part. And then the second part is going to be more of, we're, we're going to take the main altars that we had discussed on our last show uh, to the courts of heaven. And we'll use Dr. Miles' book for that and go through uh, bringing those to the courts of heaven. And then we're going to, you know, we never want to leave. Um, a house that we've destroyed that plot of land empty because the spirits will come back they'll set up another altar and they'll you know have you in bondage and oppression again so we always want to establish a place to the lord um, wherever we tear down so that's the goal for today excellent goal let's do it let's do it all right I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> all right well we're gonna start in prayer and i i encourage everybody bring forward your list that you've been working on this week 
Um, we aren't going to have the things that are, or I'll say we probably won't have the things that are on your list, but we might have some things that, you know, interconnect. I just kind of wrote down um, a list according to what the Lord was showing me that some of you um, need to let go. So how this works is that I'm just going to start calling out those spirits um, that go along with that sin and with, you know, a behavior that is unpleasing to the Lord. We're going to rebuke them. We're going to cast them out. Uh, we're going to tell them to go. Now, if you start manifesting or, or you can tell there's a struggle there and that spirit doesn't want to go, like I said, that means just start confessing. Start confessing the sin because that's that's the spirit's legal access point. The moment you confess that sin, that spirit has no legal access point and has to go when you command it to go. Amen. Um, if these spirits come back and, and keep trying to taunt you, go through this section again. Cast them out again. Um, don't give them any any standing anymore. Uh, you know, all of us want to be rid of our sins. We want to be cleansed. We want to be right before the Lord. Um, I don't know anybody who's, you know, goes around and says they want to keep a, you know, demonic spirit as their friend. I mean, even high level in the occult, you know, they use statues of Jesus for protection as they're casting spells, you know, or they go through a time of reading the Psalms and cleanse themselves. And, you know, again, through that, ask for protection because even they know, you know, they don't want that demon hanging around. So if the highest level Luciferians don't want those spirits hanging around, why should you allow it to stay? <laughs> Kick that sucker right out. That's what I got to say. So, <laughs> Amen. all right, great. Well, let's go ahead and let's break. You know, the main, the main part of this is just that coming to that place of surrender before the Lord. So Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we just come into your presence. And Lord, we know that your desire is for us to be clean. Your desire is for us to be righteous and holy. And we thank you and praise you that you have made a way. And your way is simple and easy. You, you, you simply have said, confess your sins, repent, turn away and come back to me. So, Lord, we want to do that right now, Lord. We just want to honor your goodness and your faithfulness to us, that it doesn't matter how many times we've sinned or how many times we've engaged in these sexual perversions or immorality or fornifications. Lord, the moment we confess our sin, you are ready to wash us completely clean and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness so we just stand upon your word and we receive that lord we want to be cleansed from all unrighteousness today thank you jesus so lord we ask that as we bring these spirits before you lord as we say their names Lord, we ask that you would drive them out with a violent force from our presence. Your word says that you cast our sins as far from us as the east is from the west. So we also ask that you would cast every spirit as far from us as the east is from the west. So spirit of seductive words, we bind you and cast you out in the name of Jesus. We command you to go now in Jesus' name. Spirit of manipulation, we bind you and cast you out in the, spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not subject our tongues to you anymore. Father, I ask right now that you would loose, loose every tongue that has been bound by manipulation. Free it in the power of your Holy Spirit, right now, for those who are struggling with that right now, just confess it, Lord. We confess any manipulation 
that has remained, Lord, we confess that desire to manipulate and control others, even sexually, Lord. And we just bring that before you and lay it at your feet. We lay it down, Lord. And we bind, we cast out that spirit of manipulation in Jesus' holy name. Spirit of selfishness, we bind you and cast you out in Jesus' holy name. No longer will we live for self-pleasure or for pleasuring ourselves, Father. We command the spirit to go, let go, loose us from your grip. We do not belong to you. We are the Lord's. Spirit of undeserving, we bind you and cast you out in Jesus' name. We command you to go now in the holy name of Jesus. All your lies, all your, your words of guilt and shame telling us that we are undeserving and, and we pull up that counterpart with that right now. Spirit of unworthiness, we bind you and cast you out in Jesus' holy name. We command you to go for we are no longer undeserving and we are certainly not unworthy. Lord, we receive from you right now. We know that, that you have created us to love and to be loved. So we thank you. We give these spirits no place, whether it's over our looks, whether it's over things that we've done in the past, whether it's over multiple sexual sins and perversions. Go right now in Jesus' name. This is, new, this is new grace that we're being given, a new place, a new start. And we stand in that, Lord. We thank you for that. Spirit of the brokenhearted, we bind you and cast you out in Jesus' powerful name. Lord, we just bring to you our tender hearts. We bring to you our hearts that have been hurt, that have been manipulated, that have been abused, Lord, we bring to you all that has been done to weaponize love in our lives. And we bring to you those that have weaponized love. And we forgive, Father. And I just encourage you right now, if there's names of people who have weaponized love in your life, whether it's a father, a mother, um, whether it's a spouse or a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a friend. Just say their name right now and say, I forgive you. Lord, we will not allow the enemy or this unclean spirit of broken hearted to remain because of unforgiveness. So Lord, we just confess right now and we ask that you would forgive us for our unforgiveness towards these people forgive us for holding on to the hurts and and wanting to use that hurt back as a weapon lord we surrender judgment and justice we surrender the right relationships to you spirit of cast off or casting away we bind you and cast you out in jesus powerful name because we are not cast off, and the Lord's given me another um, counterpart to that, forsaken. We bind you and cast you out in Jesus' holy name. We are not cast out. We are not cast away from your presence, O oh Lord. Your word says that, that you are no longer angry with us. That although there was a moment where your face was turned away, you have turned towards us and that we have your face. We can see you face to face. We can look at you, Lord. So, Lord, we accept that, that, that your anger and that casting off has been turned away. And, Lord, we ask that where others have cast us off or cast us away, Lord, we, we say their name right now. And we forgive them in your powerful name, Jesus. Amen. 
Remove any ground that that spirit has, Lord. Every foothold, every toehold. We close every door and access point now in Jesus' holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of lust, we bind you and cast you out in Jesus' powerful name. Get up right now. Go. We command you to go. All of you who are struggling with that spirit right now, trying to hold on to you, start confessing any sins, any prostitution, any sexual immorality or fornication, any unfaithfulness, any adultery, any pornography. I, I loose your tongue in Jesus' name. Start confessing. Bring it out. Don't hold it in. No matter how bad the sexual perversion, confess it. Let it out. And Lord, we just ask that you would that you would draw that confession out, Father God, that you would make a smooth way for it to flow out. Just let it go. As it goes, now command that spirit, that spirit of lust. We command you to go now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I felt some real breakthrough th there for some of you. Amen. This one also is going to be another one. Critical spirit, we bind you and cast you out in Jesus' holy name. Again, those of you, we loose that tongue. We loose that tongue. Start confessing that critical spirit, that spirit of judgment, that spirit of perfectionism, that spirit that says that you can do it all yourself that you don't need anyone else, that you can seek your own pleasure, you can seek your own delight, you can seek your own, um, your own desires. Start confessing right now in Jesus' holy name. We break every chain that that spirit has bound you by now in Jesus' name. We break that yoke of oppression that it has caused and we lift that off of you right now in the name of Jesus. That yoke is broken in half and you're going to feel that depression lift. You're going to feel that, opp uh, that oppression that has been like a dark cloud around you in your relationships that's lifting right now. Lord, remove it. Take it right off. We just open up our arms and we confess our sins with that critical spirit, Lord, with that critical tongue. And Father, we, your word says that that tongue is like a, a rudder that controls the whole body. So Lord, we just confess right now everything that we've held on to, every avenue, every part of our body that we have allowed to be part of that criticalness towards others. Uh, we just confess that right now. If your hands have been critical, confess it. Um, that comes through withholding, uh, rejecting others. Just start confessing that sin, that withholding of love. Um, if you've engaged in self-pleasure, confess it right now. <clears throat> Lord, we, we ask your forgiveness for... Um, allowing the parts of our body to be subjected to these sexual sins, Lord. Whatever parts of our body that we have subjected, just go now, confess it to the Lord. Lord, forgive me for allowing this part of my body to be used in a way that does not bring you glory. Forgive me for using the parts of my body in a way that does not honor and respect and love others in the body of Christ and even those outside of the body of Christ. Just keep confessing whatever the Lord's bring into your mind. Lord, we want to be free from this critical spirit. We want to be free from that judgment of others, Lord. And we want to we want to hold fast to 1 Corinthians 13, where you say love keeps no record of wrongs. 
Father God, we want to be those who keep no record. And we thank you that you do not keep a record of our sins, that once we confess, you take it and you remove it far from us. It's the enemy that comes back and tries to condemn us and, and throw those things back in our faces. But Father, we're not going to receive it because you have washed it away. And so we just accept that freedom that you have made us free in your holy name. We Open your arms, just receive. Receive that freedom that you have in Christ. Thank you, Father. Spirit of lying in wait to sexually trap, we rebuke you and we cast you out in Jesus' powerful name. Father, it is not your desire for us to plot and to plan, um, to draw somebody else into um, sexual immorality or sexual fornications. So Lord, we bring to you, just start laying down anything that you have done where you have plotted or planned um, sexual immorality or fornication and drawn somebody into that. Um, any instance, whether it was at work, whether it was at home, um, whether it was targeting somebody at a bar or a restaurant or a dance club, um, just start confessing the things that you did, that the actions or the words that you said that were luring and we're meant to lure and trap that person into a sexual relationship. Father God, we lay that at your feet. Um, I feel that some out there, you need to confess um, the thoughts of sexual, or let me think, the thoughts of sexual perversion of homosexuality, um, whether that's sodomy or lesbianism, let it go right now. Spirit of sodomy and lesbianism, we rebuke you in Jesus' name. Get up, get out of here right now in Jesus' name. We drive you out from our presence. Let it go. If there's anything else you need to confess, whatever's surfacing, give it to the Lord right now. Don't hold on to it. It's a lie from the enemy that this is where your love is going to come from. That is a lie. That's a perversion. The Lord has clearly stated men are not to sleep or lie with men. And women are not to have sexual relationships with women. So just confess any thoughts, any desires for that. Um, any um, intentions. Any targeting that the enemy has done for you in that area, um, if he's brought people into your life that that make you feel good, that compliment you, that tell you how beautiful you are, but you know behind that that they are trying to trap you and draw you into a sexual relationship and perversion, confess it right now. Let it go. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we just open our arms and we want to honor you and receive. We want to receive right relationships. So we ask that with any relationships that we're in, if it's not honoring to you, Lord, show us and we will walk away from it. But Father, if it is um, and we just need to set up some healthy boundaries, we ask that you would show us how to do that, Lord. Show us how to put up those right boundaries and restore that right relationship. Spirit of never being satisfied, we bind you and cast you out in Jesus' powerful name. Lord, so many of us don't even communicate in relationships what we need or what we want or desire. 
and silently we keep it to ourselves and then we allow that spirit of unsatisfied to put a foothold in our lives because the things that we need or want or desired are not met and we begin to look in places where we shouldn't be looking to get that feeling of being satisfied. We just cast that out right now in your powerful name, Jesus. We're not going to go looking for that satisfaction. Lord, your word says so many times in the Old Testament that you brought, you brought to, the, to our forefathers. You brought Abraham, you brought Isaac, you brought Jacob, wives, Lord. You brought them into that place of a right relationship. Uh, you brought Ruth to Boaz, Lord, and we want what you have for us, Father. So we're not going to go looking. We're not going to go searching where we shouldn't. Start confessing. If you've done that, start confessing that. And Lord, we confess our, our unwillingness to communicate. In that situation, our unwillingness and deeper, Lord, we confess to you our lack of trust. We confess our lack of vulnerability with each other. And we ask that you would restore that, Lord, that we would take the chance that we would not hide our hearts from another, but that we would be open and honest about things. Um, that we wouldn't play with words. We just ask Father God that you would help us to put our desires and our wants and our needs out there boldly. And we ask that you would help us to be into relationships where there's a healthy giving and receiving. Because Father behind that we're afraid, we're afraid to give because we're afraid of being rejected. We're afraid of being cast out. We're afraid that our love will not be received. And for all of you who are facing those fears right now, confess them. And the Lord says, ask. So many times we think we know what others want and that rejection comes because we're really not hearing from the other person. We're not hearing what they really want or what they desire and we don't ask so ask start asking don't be afraid to ask in that communication don't be afraid to outright tell what you want thank you lord Ooh, <laughs> spirit of scorned and rejected father I know there are so many women who have felt scorned in their relationships. Um, they have felt used. They have felt um, unhonored. And they have felt rejected. And there's that bitterness that goes along with that scorning. We confess all of that to you right now in Jesus' name. I know many women who have been through divorce, even many men who have been through divorce, you feel that scorning where your partner completely, literally puts up a hand and rejects you, but then they emotionally, they taunt you, they mock you, um, they say critical or mean things about you. Just start confessing the hurts, say the names of those who have done that and ask forgiveness. And you also want to forgive them for the hurts that they've caused. Forgive for the scorning. Don't hold on to it. Let it go. Spirit of undesired. We rebuke you and cast you out in Jesus' powerful name. 
Lord, I thank you that you are a God who desires to spend time with us. You are a God who desires to build a relationship and invest in us through time, through moments together. We thank you, Lord, for that display of desire, Lord, that you desire, um, and not in a sexual way, because we're not talking about intimacy that includes sex with God. That's not what we're talking about here. But Lord, you desire that closeness, that togetherness, that oneness, um, that beautiful, gentle touch, touching and um, just enjoying each other, even if it's just messing with our hair, um, touching our shoulder, Lord, rubbing our arm. You desire that type of closeness with us that very few of us ever get to that place in our relationship with you, Lord, where we feel your touch. Or even as we're in going through difficult relationships with one another, we forget to reach out and touch each other in healthy ways. Lord, restore that. Restore the age-old, beautiful, uh, romantic love, Lord, where we can reach out and hold each other's hands and just feel each other's hands, um, where we can enjoy being face-to-face, -face, just having our cheeks next to each other, where we can enjoy just even swaying or, or taking each other in one another's arms. Lord, restore that beauty in relationships of closeness and touch and help us to be mindful to make moments of that, Lord. We just rebuke that spirit and we command you to go and we just dedicate ourselves that we will be mindful to, to give each other the touch that we need in Jesus' holy name. And Father, we bring before you the spirit of wanton pleasure. Again, that's connected to the spirit of unsatisfied, um, that desire of things that are not of you. And that desire, it's like a hunger that um, we, it's connected to lust as well. Uh, but wanton pleasure just has that, that greed behind it that we're never satisfied, we never have enough, we crave, 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 and we do whatever we can to fill that craving. Right now, we command you go in Jesus' name. Let go of that sexual craving right now. Father, we just let it go because with it, there's no control. With it, there's only hurt. With it, there's selfishness. So we command it to go now in Jesus' name. Father, we don't want to abuse. We don't want to be self-centered in our sexual lives, Lord. We want to be those that are controlled. We want to be those who are investing in intimacy the way you designed it. And we want the best, Lord. We want to be filled. We want to be satisfied. Uh, we want to take pleasure, delight, and joy in one another. So we just let it go. We surrender it to you now in your powerful name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Um, spirit of withholding and withdrawing. We rebuke you and we cast you out in Jesus' powerful name. And with it, spirit of hurt and spirit of offense, we bind you and we cast you out in Jesus' holy name. All of you who are holding on to offenses, all of you who have been keeping that record of wrong, that tally of every look, um, every word that's said against you, every nonverbal body language that's against you, those of you who have been using those things, looks, words, body language to hurt another, to, exp to show them how angry you are, to show them how hurt you are, let it go right now. Confess it in Jesus' name. 
Lord, your word says that we are not to hold on to anger, that we are not to rage, that we are not to let the sun go down on our anger, Father. So for those who have been holding on to that, confess it. Lord, we ask that you would cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Lord, we don't want to hold on to these sins against others in our life. So we just bring it before you. And we ask that you would strip it, strip us clean from it, Lord. <laughs> strip us clean. Wash us, purify us with your word, Lord, that we may be upright and righteous in your eyes, that we may have households that are holy, that we may leave a legacy of beautiful marriages and relationships that our children can see and have an experience for themselves, Lord. We're asking for that release of those things. Spirit of striving, we bind you and cast you out in Jesus' powerful name. And spirit of, um, of pleasing, uh, but this is not the good type of pleasing. Um, this is the type where we allow people to overrun us. We feel like we have to do everything um, just to please them. And we have to strive, strive, strive to please others. Let it go right now. Start confessing. Confess anything that's behind that. We are meant to be in perfectly balanced give and take relationships um, where we give and we receive. And Lord, we just confess, Lord, where we have failed to give, where we have purposely withheld or held back from another what they needed or wanted. Um, Lord, we confess that to you right now. And where we have failed to receive, Father God, where somebody has done something that they thought would be nice or that we would enjoy, Lord, but we didn't. And instead of telling them that we didn't, um, we started to withhold or withdraw or reject, um, or we got angry and yelled, or we locked ourselves in the bathroom, or we, um, or we begin to keep that record, that check mark tallies of wrong, Lord, against them. Lord, we confess that right now and we ask your forgiveness. Thank you, Lord. We bring before you, Lord the altars that we're coming against tonight and the spirits that sit on them. We bring before you that prostitution, that sexual immorality, fornification, perversion, the unfaithfulness, the adultery, and the pornography, Lord. Spirits, we rebuke you now in Jesus' powerful name, and we command you to go. We will make no place for you in our lives. And Lord, we ask now that as we call these altars and these spirits into your heavenly courts, Lord, we ask that you would utterly destroy their work in our lives. Your word says, Jesus, that you came to destroy the works of the devil. And Lord, we want to see that happen. So we thank you for all that you are about to do. Prepare our hearts right now, Lord. As we enter into your courts in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. Amen. Right. Well always so powerful to do that it's so important to make those times to do that cleansing and that deliverance um, definitely all right so we're gonna do um as we go through this i would like tracy if you could do the repeat back and uh anybody who's watching uh please um Follow along with Tracy and do the repeating back. And, um, and we'll go through this. And again, uh, some of the pieces of this, if you have the book already, um, you can kind of follow along 
Uh, some of it's going to be modified because we're going to add in some of the verses that are specific to the altars that we're going after. Uh, but some of the sections we're just going to go ahead and read straight from uh, Francis's uh, Francis Miles material here in this book. So, um, <clears throat> Lord, we just come into your holy presence and we worship you. We adore you, Lord. We give you praise because you alone are worthy of all glory, all honor, and all praise. And, and Lord, we want our lives to reflect you. We don't want to continue to live in this unfruitfulness. Lord, so many of us for so long, we've just been dry and stagnant. And we haven't known or felt that new life that we have in you. So Lord, we're asking as we go through this, Lord, we want that new life that you have given to us. We want it in its fullness. We want the full measure of it, Lord. We want it overflowing with the power of your Holy Spirit that as we go into our homes, as we you know, connect with our family, as we connect with people at work, as we go out in our communities, Lord, that the power of your presence would not only be felt, but that it would be seen and even more, Lord, that it would be experienced. Yes. We want that. So we thank you. And as your word says in Isaiah 45, 1 through 4, this is what the Lord says to Cyrus, his anointed, whom I have taken by the right hand to subdue nations before him, and to loose the armor of kings, to open doors before him and gates that will not be shut. I will go before him and I will make the rough places smooth. I will shatter the doors of bronze and cut through iron bars. I will give you the treasures in darkness and the hidden wealth in secret places so that you may know that it is I, the Lord your God of Israel, who summons you by name. For the sake of Jacob, my servant, and Israel, my chosen one, I have summoned you by name, and I will give you a title of honor. Lord, we want to receive that right now. We thank you as we go through this, that you see that you honor the work that we are doing in the cleansing. In Psalm 27, 6, your word says, and now my head will be lifted up Above my enemies. In his tent, I will offer sacrifices with shouts of joy, and I will sing. Yes, I will sing to the Lord. You have said, Lord, that you are about to subdue nations, that you are about to shatter doors of bronze and cut through iron bars, and that after you are done, Lord, destroying these evil altars and the footholds that they have put in our life. You are going to establish, you are going to give us those things, the treasures, the hidden things that our hearts desire. And I'm most excited about that, Lord, because you're about to break through these amazing relationships, Lord, that are anointed, that are set apart for you and for the glory of your kingdom. Thank you, Father. Yes. Thank Heavenly you. Father. <clears throat> and righteous judge we ask that the courts of heaven be seated according to daniel 7 9 through 10 and that the books of our lives be open before you as your word says in daniel chapter 7 9 through 10 I kept looking until the thrones were set up and the Ancient of Days took his seat. His garment was white as snow and the hair on his head was like pure wool. His throne was flames of fire and the wheels were like burning fire around it. A river of fire was flowing and coming out from before him and ten or sorry, a thousand times 10,000 angels were surrounding him and standing before him. And the court was seated 
and the books were opened. Heavenly Father, we are requesting the privilege of standing before the courtroom of the Ancient of Days, according to what was revealed it by the prophet Daniel. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I stand in your royal courtroom because of the blood and the finished work of Jesus on the cross. We have come to receive your righteous judgment over our lives against the spirits. And we're going to name them here, the altars of prostitution. The altar of sexual immorality and fortification. The altar of unfaithfulness and adultery and the altar of pornography. And Father God, we just come into your presence with that. And we summon these altars into your court. Heavenly Father, we call your angels to be witnesses to our lawsuit and righteous prosecution of these evil altars. We decree and declare that these evil altars shall not destroy our relationship with you, that they shall not destroy our relationships with one another before our appointed time times and neither will they kill any other divine relationships that you have ordained and are bringing into our lives father we need to we desire to achieve our god-given destinies here on earth and as you have said your kingdom comes in power and that it comes now here on earth so lord we ask that you will release that to us Heavenly Father and righteous judge, your word says in 1 John 2, 1 through 2, my little children, these things I write to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is righteous, and he himself is the propitiation for our sin, and not ours only, but also those of the whole world. We thank you that Jesus is that propitiation, the payment for our sins and that he has paid in full. Mm -hmm. We thank you that Jesus is our faithful advocate before you righteous judge. And Lord Jesus, we surrender right now our rights to self-representation and we ask that you would stand in the courts on our behalf, that you would stand as our advocate and plead our case before the righteous judge and prosecute these evil altars of prostitution, immorality, fornication, unfaithfulness, adultery, and pornography in our lives. All right, Tracy, this is gonna be where we start the repeating back. <clears throat> so we are going to summon the evil altars and the idols that sit on them to appear in the court. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, even as I stand, even as I stand in your royal courtroom, in your royal courtroom, I present myself, I present myself as a living sacrifice as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable holy and acceptable before you before you according to romans 12 1 according to romans 12 1 righteous judge righteous judge i summon i summon the altars the altars a prostitution of prostitution of immorality of immorality, of fornication, of fornication, of perversion, of perversion, of unfaithfulness, of unfaithfulness, of adultery, of adultery, and of pornography, and of pornography that have been, that have been in my bloodline, in my bloodline, and the idols, and the idols that sit on it, that sit on it, to appear in your royal courtroom, 
to appear in your royal courtroom to face prosecution to face prosecution in Jesus name in Jesus name for it is written for it is written in 1 Corinthians in 1 Corinthians 6 3 6 3 do you not know do you not know that we believers that we believers will judge angels will judge angels how much more how much more matters of this life matters of this life righteous judge righteous judge i exercise my god given authority i exercise my god given authority in christ jesus in christ jesus to judge demons to judge demons and principalities and principalities in jesus name in jesus name and righteous judge and righteous judge it is also written it is also written in the constitution of your kingdom in the constitution of your kingdom in first john 3 8 in first john 3 8 for this purpose for this purpose the son of god the son of god was manifested was manifested that he might destroy that he might destroy the works of the devil the works of the devil heavenly father heavenly father i know that until the end of the age i know until the end of the age of sin of sin that satan has legal access that satan has legal access to the courts of heaven to the courts of heaven to level accusations to level accusations against the children of men against the children of men for it is written for it is written in revelations in revelations 12 10 12 10 then i heard then i heard a loud voice in heaven a loud voice in heaven saying saying now the salvation now the salvation and the power and the power and the kingdom and the kingdom the dominion reign the dominion reign of our god of our god and the authority of his christ and the authority of his christ have come have come for the accuser for the accuser of our believing brothers of our believing brothers and sisters and sisters has been thrown down has been thrown down at last at last he who accuses them he who accuses them and brings charges and brings charges of sinful behavior of sinful behavior against them against them before our god before our god day and night day and night has been cast down has been cast down heavenly father heavenly father it is it says in matthew it says in matthew 525 525 come to terms quickly come to terms quickly at the earliest opportunity at the earliest opportunity with your opponent with your opponent at law at law while you are with him while you are with him on the way to court on the way to court so that your opponent so that your opponent does not hand you over does not hand you over to the judge to the judge and the judge to the guard and the judge to the guard and you are thrown into prison and you're thrown into prison heavenly father heavenly father in all humility in all humility while renouncing the spirit of pride while renouncing the spirit of pride i choose to quickly i choose to quickly agree agree with the legal accusations with the legal accusations of my adversary of my adversary satan satan righteous judge righteous judge every accusation 
every accusation that Satan has filed that Satan has filed against me against me and my bloodline and my bloodline in the courts in the courts is true is true heavenly father heavenly father i repent i repent for my personal transgressions for my personal transgressions for my sins for my sins and my iniquities and my iniquities and those of my forefathers and those of my forefathers that opened the door that open the door for these altars for these altars and sexual sins and sexual sins to oppress my life to oppress my life all right so here we're literally going to address some of the same things that we kind of just went through but we're going to kind of name them and name every spirit that has is connected to these altars so altar of prostitution altar of prostitution i remove your right i remove your right over me over me altar of immorality altar of immorality i remove your right i remove your right over me over me altar of fornication altar of fornication i remove your right i remove your right over me from over me altar of unfaithfulness altar of unfaithfulness i remove your right i remove your right over me over me altar of idolatry altar of idolatry i'm oh, sorry adultery i didn't mean to <laughs> Well, let's get them both altar of there. idolatry and <laughs> adultery yes altar of idolatry and adultery yes i remove your right i remove your right over me over me altar of pornography altar of pornography i remove your right i remove your right over me over me spirit of seductive words spirit of seductive words and spirit of manipulation and spirit of manipulation i remove your rights i remove your rights over me over me Sorry. spirit of selfishness spirit of selfishness and spirit of undeserving and spirit of undeserving and spirit of unworthy and spirit of unworthy i remove your rights i remove your rights over me over me spirit of broken hearted spirit of broken hearted spirit of cast off and cast away spirit of cast off and cast away i remove your right i remove your right over me over me spirit of lust spirit of lust and spirit of perversion and spirit of perversion i remove your right i remove your right over me over me a uh, critical spirit critical spirit and spirit of lying in wait to sexually trap and spirit of lying in wait to sexually trap i remove your right i remove your right over me over me spirit of never satisfied spirit of never satisfied and spirit of not good enough and spirit of not good enough i remove your right i remove your right over me over me spirit of rejection spirit of rejection and spirit of scorn and spirit of scorn i remove your right i remove your right over me over me spirit of undesired spirit of undesired and spirit of wanton pleasure and spirit of wanton pleasure i remove your right i remove your right for me over me spirit of withholding and withdrawing spirit of withholding 
and withdrawing. Intimacy. Intimacy. I remove your right. I remove your right. Over me. Over me. And spirit of striving. And spirit of striving. And pleasure. And pleasure. And pleasing. And pleasing. I remove your right. I remove your right. Over me. Over me. Righteous judge. Righteous judge. I ask that all legal rights. I ask that all legal rights. The enemy has used. The enemy has used. To build these cases against me. To build these cases against me. And to marry me. And to marry me. Through the altars. Through the altars. Or to the altars. To the altars. Pardon of me. To the altars. Of prostitution. Of uh, sexual immorality. Sexual immorality. Fornication. Fornication. Uh, perversion. Perversion. Unfaithfulness. Unfaithfulness. Adultery. Adultery. And pornography. And pornography. Be, re be revoked. Be revoked. I ask that the blood of Jesus. I ask that the blood of Jesus. Would wash them away. Would wash them away. I also repent. I also repent. For any self-inflicted. For any self-inflicted. Word curses. Word curses. And all covenants. And all covenants. With demons. With demons. That have existed. That have existed. In my incest ancestral bloodline. In my ancestral bloodline. I ask, I ask that every covenant, that every covenant with demonic powers and demonic powers will now be revoked, will now be revoked and that their right to claim me and that their right to claim me and my bloodline and my bloodline would now be dismissed, would now be dismissed before your court, before your court in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for revoking these demonic covenants. For revoking these demonic covenants and evil altars. And evil altars. Jesus name. In Jesus name. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, it is my heartfelt desire. It is my heartfelt desire to divorce myself. To divorce myself. From the spirit, from the spirit and the altar and the altar of prostitution, of prostitution, of immorality, of immorality, of fornication, of fornication, of perverseness, of perverseness, of unfaithfulness, of unfaithfulness, of adultery, of adultery and pornography and pornography. And I just want to repeat that back, especially against the altar of pornography. I'm getting that many people um, don't understand the impact of this. So again, I just want you to say, Lord, it is my heartfelt desire. Lord, it is my heartfelt desire to divorce myself, to divorce myself. From these spirits, from these spirits and these altars and these altars, I give back everything. I give back everything and anything and anything that the devil would say that the devil would say came from his kingdom, came from his kingdom. I only want, I only want what the blood of Jesus what the blood of Jesus has secured for me, has secured for me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, thank you for cleansing me. Thank you for cleansing me by your blood, by your blood, so that Satan has no legal footing, so that Satan has no legal footing against me in your courtroom. 
against me in your courtroom. It is written. It is written. In 1 John 1, 9. In 1 John 1, 9. That if we confess our sins. That if we confess our sins. He is faithful. He is faithful. And just. And just. To forgive us. To forgive us. And to cleanse us. And to cleanse us. From all unrighteousness. From all unrighteousness. Righteous judge. Righteous judge. I appeal to the blood of Jesus. I appeal to the blood of Jesus. To wipe out all my shortcomings. To wipe out all my shortcomings. My transgressions. My transgressions. And my iniquities. And my iniquities. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And I receive by faith. And I receive by faith. The power. The power. Of the cleansing blood. Of the cleansing blood. Of Jesus. Of Jesus. Just take a moment before we go on and just receive that power of Jesus cleansing blood that washes through the deepest part of your being washes away with a flood all of that connection to things that were not of God thank you God thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord all right heavenly father heavenly father Based upon Jesus' finished work. Based upon Jesus' finished work. And my heartfelt desire. And my heartfelt desire. To repent. To repent. I now move on the court of heaven. I now move on the court of heaven. To dismiss. To dismiss. All of Satan's accusations. All of Satan's accusations. And charges against me and charges against me and against my bloodline and against my bloodline for it is written for it is written that the accuser of the brethren that the accuser of the brethren has been cast down has been cast down so i ask you father so i ask you father to cast down to cast down all of satan's accusations all of Satan's accusations against my sexual sins against my sexual sins in Jesus name in Jesus name and heavenly father and heavenly father I ask now I ask now that you will send high ranking angels that you will send high ranking angels officers of the courts officers of the courts who excel in strength, who excel in strength to execute judgment, to execute judgment of your Supreme Court, of your Supreme Court, and destroy these evil altars, and destroy these evil altars. I just kind of get this feeling of go get oh, them, boys. Yes. <laughs> Those angels <laughs> utterly destroying. Yes. And we ask now that they will bind up, that they will. Um, chain the the spirits and the idols that sit on these altars and we ask we that they would sorry go ahead, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> just say that they chain to bind them up bring yes. them into your court yes. lord amen in jesus in name amen all right and by the spirit of prophecy <laughs> and by the spirit of prophecy i prophesy i prophesy the complete destruction, the complete destruction of these evil, of these evil sexual altars, sexual altars in my life, in my life, in Jesus name, in Jesus name, for it is written, for it is written in Psalm 91, in Psalm 91, 11 through 12, 11 through 12. For he will command his angels. For he will command his angels. In regard to you. In regard to you. To protect you. To protect you. To defend you. To defend you. And to guard you. And to guard you. In all your ways. In all your ways. Of obedience and service. 
of obedience and service. They will lift you up on their hands. They will lift you up on their hands. So that you do not even strike a foot. So that you do not even strike a foot. Against a stone. Against a stone. And Lord, we just receive right now. And Lord, we just receive right now. Angelic assistance. Angelic assistance. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Righteous judge. Righteous judge. We present before your Supreme Court. We present before your Supreme Court. The following scriptures. The following scriptures. As our rock solid evidence. As our rock solid evidence. Against these spirits. Against these spirits. That sit on the sexual altars. That sit on the sexual altars. Okay, and here we're going to alternate. Uh, Tracy, if I'll start, but I'll have you start with Deuteronomy 23, 17. Okay. And I will read 1 Corinthians 6, 15 through 16. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ himself? Shall I then take the members of Christ and unite them with a prostitute? Never. Do you not know that he who unites himself with a prostitute is one with her in body? For it is written, the two shall become one flesh. But whoever is united with the Lord is one with him in spirit. All right, go ahead. Deuteronomy 23, 17. There shall be no cult prostitute among the daughters of Israel. Neither shall there be a cult prostitute a sodomite among the sons of israel all right and if you want to look up the next one for you will be proverbs 2 15 through 16 and i'll read first thessalonians 4 3 through 4 <clears throat> it is god's will that you should be sanctified that you should avoid sexual immorality that each of you should learn to control your own body in a way that is holy and honorable, not in passionate lust like the pagans who do not know God, and that in this matter no one should wrong or take advantage of a brother or sister. The Lord will punish all those who commit such sins as he told you and warned you before. For God did not call us to be impure, but to live in holy to live a holy life therefore anyone who rejects this instruction does not reject a human being but god the very god who gives you his holy spirit proverbs 2 15 and 16 who are crooked in their ways wayward and devious in their paths discretion shall watch over you Understanding shall keep you to deliver you from the alien woman, from the outsider with her flattering words. Very good. Righteous judge. Righteous judge. Based upon. Based upon. The following scriptures. The following scriptures. It is clear. It is clear. That the spirit. That the spirit. And the altars and the altars of sexual sin of sexual sin if allowed to succeed if allowed to succeed would cause great injury would cause great injury to my life to my life and my destiny and my destiny and also inflict and also inflict irreparable damage irreparable damage damage to the purposes of god to the purposes of God. I ask that every legal right. I ask that every legal right. The spirit and the altars. The spirit and the altars. Of sexual sin. Of sexual sin. Are holding. Are holding. Be revoked. Be revoked. In Jesus' glorious name. In Jesus' glorious name. And righteous judge. And righteous judge. Based upon the four mentioned scriptures, 
based upon the four mentioned scriptures, it is clear. It is clear that I qualify that I qualify for a divine restraining order for a divine restraining order against these altars against these altars of sexual sins of sexual sins and the idols and the idols and the spirits and the spirits that sit on them that sit on them i now ask i now ask that a divine restraining order that a divine restraining order and a permanent injunction and a permanent injunction against these spirits against these spirits and altars and altars sexual sins of sexual sins would now be issued would now be issued by the authority by the authority of your supreme court of your supreme court in jesus name in jesus name and heavenly father and heavenly father i decree and declare i decree and declare any that any and all forms and all forms of sexual uh sins of sexual sins that the altars that the altars and the idols and the sorry, idols the spirits the spirits um and the devil and the devil have issued have issued or are orchestrating against my life and are orchestrating against my life be now canceled be now canceled in jesus glorious name in jesus glorious name and heavenly father and heavenly father i receive i receive this divine restraining order this divine restraining order and permanent injunction and permanent injunction by faith by faith in Jesus name in Jesus name and take a minute to just receive that you have a restraining order against these altars and the spirits and the idols that sit on them no longer are you bound to have to go back and serve and worship at that altar of sexual sin thank you Lord. just receive that Lord, your word says. Lord, your word says that without faith, that without faith, it is impossible. It is impossible to please him, to please him for whoever comes near, for whoever comes near God to God must believe that he exists, must believe that he exists and that he rewards and that he rewards those those who earnestly who earnestly and diligently seek him and diligently seek him lord we proclaim lord we proclaim that we believe that we believe and we declare and we declare by faith by faith that the spirits that the spirits and the altars and the altars of prostitution of prostitution immorality immorality of fornication fornication of unfaithfulness of unfaithfulness of adultery of adultery and pornography and pornography have been judged have been judged prosecuted prosecuted and removed and removed from my life from my life in jesus powerful name in jesus's powerful name and righteous judge and righteous judge i ask now i ask now that you will seal my verdict that you will seal my verdict against these spirits and altars against these spirits and altars of sexual sins of sexual sins in the precious blood of jesus in the precious blood of jesus may you cover may you cover with the blood of jesus the blood of jesus all my legal proceedings 
all my legal proceedings in this court in this court i decree and declare i decree and declare that my righteous verdict that my righteous verdict of release of release and breakthrough and breakthrough from the evil altars from the evil altars of sexual sin of sexual sin is now secured is now secured and documented and documented in the courts of heaven in the courts of heaven for it is written in john's gospel for it is written in john's gospel chapter 8 chapter 8 verse 36 verse 36 who the sun sets free who the sun sets free is free indeed is free indeed i decree i decree and i declare and i declare and i establish and i establish an altar to the lord an altar to the lord based on john 8 based on john 8 verse 36 verse 36 that who the son has set free that who the son has set free is free indeed is free indeed in jesus powerful name in jesus powerful name and i want to speak altars are a place where prophecies and words go out so the lord gave me this one to speak out over that altar it's out of romans 8 31 through 33 and 37 what then shall we say to these things if god is for us who is against us he who did not spare his own son but delivered him over for us all how will he not also with him freely give us all things who will bring charges against god's elect god is the one who justifies but in all these things we overwhelmingly conquer through him who loved us. So that prophecy of conquering, may it go forth and may your lives, your marriages, your relationships be blessed in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen.